One, two, three. Twelve. There's eight of us. Alright, um... I take... One healing potion and one antidote potion. And turn around and tell the rest of the group, there's healing and antidote potions in this chest. Alright. Uh, the healing potion uh, weighs about two when it's full. And the antidote two weighs pounds? one. Pounds, yes. Okay. Mm. It's a full glass bottle. Do I know how much it heals? Or yes. I have to find um, out? Okay. Healing potion is 1d10 plus your constitution modifier. I'll take it. The antidote just potion. clears any poison effect. I need to roll. Okay. Please type this in is... who takes how many so it doesn't be like uh, I take this, uh, I take yeah. this, and there's like eight potions or something. I take oh. one of each. I'll like, grab um, a healing potion. I will also grab a healing potion. I'll grab a healing yeah, potion. Yeah, I'll grab one healing potion. There's, not enough, so, there's enough for everyone but one, so one person has to do without. So who doesn't don't. take it? Okay. Cool. 1d10 plus what, sorry? Plus your constitution modifier. Plus cont. Um, okay, okay. Um, I go up to the chest in the bottom, and actually no, I go up to the beast first and see if I found the uh, poison, I don't know, glands on him. Uh, roll nature. Mm -hmm. With disadvantage, because you have no idea what that thing is. Okay. Uh, I would roll with disadvantage though, please. Okay. Just roll it. Yeah, yeah, just roll it. I agree. Um... Fine. You try to stab it with your uh, rapier several times, try to poke it in, mm. see if you can, you know, take poison out. The only thing that comes out is blood, and you give up after a couple of stabs. Okay. Then I just try to, um, um, like, break the lock open with my rapier. Um, roll a strength check. Or just an attack. You can never oh. roll an attack with just oh, roll an attack. Strength. Or do you want me to do unskilled? Uh, do you have proficiency on that? I do have proficiency. Is that so unskilled or an attack? Well, I'll, I'll take it as a 19, it's fine, I don't need to. Um, you managed to break the lock. Okay. And um, what's inside? Um, inside, you see two items. One is, seems like a little um, metallic box with like blue lines on it. There's also a note in Alpish lying on it. And next to it, you see um, sort of two potions with the same elven notes. Mm -hmm. um, I ask the, uh, the other guys, anybody here speak Elvish? I, I can. And uh, I look over and read mm -hmm. the notes. Okay, the note on the metallic bluish box says uh, freeze grenade. Ooh. And the Ooh. other two potions are uh, restoration potions. Ooh. Restoration Ooh. potions basically uh, restore your spell slot by three. Uh, what level? Um, good, good question. Maybe, maybe you do it like source for points? So you can either choose yeah. for it to for, like one potion can restore three level ones or one level two or something like that. Yeah, I'll do I'll do it like that. Yes. Uh, um, uh, one potion out of three level ones or uh, two level twos or one level three, like that. I take the freeze grenade box without asking anybody. I just take it. Um, I that's assuming I was going to be truthful and tell you what it said. Yeah, it was. So I have no idea if it's secular freeze grenade, but I took it. All right. Oh. Seeing that you've just taken it, I'm not even going to tell you what is in it. And I said the other one is a restoration potion for wizards. Okay. So you're not telling him it's a freeze grenade. Well, he just took the box. You, you did, what's this? You did tell him As I was reading it. He just took it. Oh no! I meant like I thought you said freeze grenade. Then okay. I, uh, I had announced good. it. Okay. Yeah, he just read it. So. Okay, okay. Then I don't take it. <laughs> okay, if you don't take it, then I will announce that it is a restoration potion and this is a box of freeze grenades. 
Okay, then I will take the freeze grenade board. Uh, There's a single nade. Would I okay. know what the resurrection the potion is? Yes, I do know. Ooh, I want that! I just say I'm There was two. There's one that they actually do they actually work for warlocks also? They work for every class, yes. Every magical spell class. Oh. How many did you say there were? There are two restoration potions. Mm. I'll take one. If that's okay. Yeah, sure. I turn to the and... warlock and uh, do you want one of these? Yes. Very okay. really useful. I give it to him. Right, so you two have the storage of potions. Um, the freeze nade, I'll uh, you supposed to do. Right. Um, okay, that's everything in that box. I'm gonna. Uh, anyone can break open this lock or can pick it, preferably. Hearing this, I walk over and just smash my fist down through the lid. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Roll strength. Anyway, my character moves backwards. Don't just smash it as he does it. I'm like, no, don't do that. Literally asked me to. I said I'm break the lock, not break the chest. <laughs> you managed to punch your way through the lid on the top, yes. There's like a small <laughs> hole now. I swear to god one of these days. <laughs> Um, so there's there's a small hole. Is I presume it's easy enough for me to get my hand into it. Yes. Can I like remove the rest of the lid? Um. Yes. You kind of can grab it and like you know rip the top of the lid up. Yep. Um. I uh. Yeah. What's what's inside? Screw it. Inside you see a dagger. Please say he gripped the the blade. <laughs> <laughs> is is that it? Just the dagger? That's the dagger, yes. Um. Uh, because I'm searching through it, I'll grab it by the hilt, just throw it out the box, and sort of upend it, see if there's anything in it. There's nothing else in the chest. Only a dagger that you just threw. Yeah. So the dagger is now sort of on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I shrug and walk away. Hmm. As you um, kind of uh, yeah. walk away from this whole ordeal of Rook lying down on the ground, you feel something strange. The ground beneath you starts to shake. I quickly uh, scoop up the dagger. I would like you all to roll a dex save as the ground collapses underneath you. Quick question, is this dagger... Um, Unidentified or is it just a normal dagger? Uh, we'll say once you're all dex. Who knows, maybe you're gonna die next. Okay. I'm gonna ask some questions about when we're about to die. I'm just gonna try and get <laughs> yeah. to my inventory. Right? Some of us like to yes. be organized. Uh, okay, so it's an effect I can't see, so I get advantage on it. Cool. Because of the um, danger sense. Okay. Oh! Thank Christ! Thank yeah, there Christ! <laughs> okay, I'm glad I've got advantage. Goes. It still goes badly, but... <laughs> you have advantage? <laughs> yeah, because the danger's end. Doesn't help you. Um, okay. It means it's not a crit fail. That's, that's better, surely. Yes, it is better. Well, Garrow I'm here. going to have to use my potion now. Art and Terry. Terry! Since you uh, didn't manage to grip your footing as you were walking away, you fall down with your face right on top of a certain crystal and you take five points of damage. Nice. Art! Your leg Hi is there. Fun. I take it you didn't have lucky or anything? Nope. <laughs> uh, you can take six inspiration. points of damage and your leg is broken, you are now prone. Isn't that Yarden's character? No. Uh, yes. Right. You said uh, you had inspiration, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I chose not to use it, though. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else you land in a pool of something? 
and this is the room you're in. I'm guessing you all can see it right now, right? Yep. Yeah. Part of it at least, not the whole map. I like hockey. Um, how deep is this pool? <laughs> you can only see the, 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 the first room, right? I have no yes. idea. I haven't checked it. Yeah, 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 we can see it. Um, this pool is about um, is about shoulder height. Okay, so I'm not drowning because I'm carrying all my stuff. <laughs> the dwarf would have, but my my character climbs out of the pool. Amelia sure. looks around and says, "Oh, good, bath," and then proceeds to climb. Nasty shit. Uh, I uh, I turn towards the group with uh, blood pouring down my face, looking sheepish. Is it possible for Fuck. half orcs to look sheepish? <laughs> Does anyone I'm... have some wood? I, I, to be honest, with the way that my character is, yes. I was about to make an inappropriate joke there, but no, my character wouldn't make it, unfortunately. Guys, here, does as you anybody... kind of climb out of the pool and you can see Art uh, shouting for help as his leg is uh, bent upside down, um, a voice is kind of uh, whispering around you. Um, you can hear kind of lightning crying, you don't know where it's coming from. But also another voice echoes through the room. Does a little sound like this. Who are you? Why are you here? Yes. I shout out because we just fell through the fucking roof. How high up is the? Uh, was reply. It was about um, 10 feet, more or less. 10, 15 feet. Not too high, but... Uh, well, if... landed awkwardly then, fair enough. High enough. Wait, if we get someone to stand on my shoulders or something, we might be able to... Who's really light? Maybe we can... Uh, the roof get... keeps crumbling as well. Slowly. But it's only 10 feet up, that's, that's almost reachable. Yeah, ten, oh, ten, I, I think you're underestimating the forwards. height a little bit because 10 feet is like oh. someone can be 6 feet tall, so two people could. Yeah, I'm going to stealthily move up. To I the could be underestimating the height. <laughs> you meant 10 meters, maybe? Maybe 10 meters, yes. I'm, I'm, okay. I, yeah, I'm, I'm always higher than someone tall, standing so. on your shoulders. All All right, right, my I, I could, I could my probably bad. jump and get out. The 10 foot <laughs> fall is unlikely to break your leg, but possible. Alright. I. What it would yeah, be is I landed awkwardly and wouldn't like broke my ankle or something. I'll take it ten meters because I can feel it with the feet. I think. So thirty foot. Yes, more or less. Right then, I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to take my bow and take string off it. I'll type it up. What I'll do, so you guys can continue. Right. The the Sean talks to Terry. Come on, it's not so bad. You're alive. We killed a great beast. Great though, man. Come on! Well, at least he's doing okay. Whoa, blood on the floor. How old is this blood? Uh, you can roll medicine to check. Um... I skilled in this. I'll do it too. I guess just follow people. You, you don't react Of course, to? I do shit. Medicine checks. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't <laughs> well, mate. How much? Oh, how all the bothers, But you do know it's it's thickened, so it's not wet. Okay, that's enough. Um, I look over here, and what? Do I, oh, it's, is it really dark, or am I just blind? It is um pretty. It's dim, dim lit. So you do see, but you see pretty. Some of you that don't have dark vision see kind of poorly. No. Okay, I'm going to cast the spell then. Also, um, again, you don't have shared vision, so. Give me a sec. Uh... Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's a cantrip, that's why. Yeah, I'm going to cast light on my sword so it flows and I can use it as a torch. So that gives you. It's basically means I can see normally and there's a light around me. Increase your radius. There we go. Right. Yeah, Mr. DM. Yes. Can I roll to see if this is some sort of a ritualistic sacrificial place? 
Um, or something like that. You can uh, you can do several things actually. You can either roll Arcana, or you can roll uh, Religion. I'm gonna roll Or History, Arcana. depending on what you guys want. I want, I want to know magical thingies. Thirteen. I think I'll roll History. All right. I'll wait for all the rolls. Okay, um, Fitz, Sean. Is, is your... that your first crit fail? <laughs> Sean. It's fine, it's a... Um, your arcana check uh, reveals that there is magical essence in the area. You just can't really point, pinpoint it where it is. Oh, magical essence? There is mad magic somewhere in this area, yes, you can feel it. Um, I mean, all, all of us heard the spooky voice speak to us already. So. Yes. Same goes for Dervon. Dervon. You can feel it and you know it's beyond the walls. Somewhere around you. Just can't see it where it is. There's um, magic in the air. And the, this ritualistic, whatever, the blood you see, it's not a ritual, as in um, more of an execution. I mean, it can be a ritual. <laughs> but okay. Um, uh, Gav, Gav. Uh, when I fell through the hole, did I still have my torch on? Was it like, when it hit the ground, did it... Um, um... You fell into the water, so you don't have a torch. Okay, yeah. Yep. Um, Art, roll a 1d10 plus constitution. You're doing it already. Very good. You heal for 5. Um, you are still... Your leg is still kind of hurting, so it, you have yeah. difficulties to walk. Yeah, that's why I bound it with a stick. And we'll use my sword as a crutch. Essentially. That, will, that will keep it well, but you have difficulties to walk still. Yeah. Right. Uh, as broken, for uh, like Amiria, I did not like forget about you, so don't count your feet. Amiria, oh. you believe this is a vacation home. Oh. I see. Great, in which case I, I walked into the next room. Perfect for a honeymoon. <laughs> don't start. <laughs> well, what's, what's the problem, man? Your character's married to the. Uh... It's a happy elf. <laughs> As I walk through, I say, Oh, what a nice place. Walk directly to the doors at the end of the hallway. Right. The doors in front of you are half open, partially open. They seem to be very, very heavy, made of metal. The closet can squeeze through, but a regular hu a regular person can't, and you might need to either open them or do something with them. They partly open them. So oh, pretty. Um, seeing everyone sort of gathering up at the door, and this being the only way through. I take uh, a look at the um, thing on the ground. What is it? I I, I walk up and. Uh, try and pull the door open. Alright. Um, Sean. Hmm? Please roll an intellig intelligence save. Sure. He's seven. You lose connection with your uh, opinion. Okay. But that means that it, it should also lose connection with me. It probably would want to return after that. Yes. Scrambling for something, but you lost connection with it. Okay, sure. Or, or uh, is it dead? No, it's not. It, you don't know, actually. It just kind of okay. the vision you have, kind of not there anymore. Uh, since Terry is uh, trying to open the door, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, Terry, uh, um, strength. roll strength, he has to pull. Dervon, in front of you is a mosaic. Yeah. Um, your keen senses... There comes the ones. <laughs> yep, it's <laughs> happening. <laughs> your keen senses uh, indicate, uh, your arcana keen senses indicate that this might be something that can be activated as a portal. Ooh. But it's uh, dead now. So it's like an inert. Uh, it's inert, yes. The little stone or something. The, yes, the stones, the orange stones, seem to be lifeless. But um, your arcana uh, check, and you don't need to roll arcana because it's kind of visible to you. It might be an unearthed portal. All Terry, right. 
Um, we try to pull the doors, but something keeps them. Um, no, by the way, very, Zach very helps with that. Badly. I've taken a north stone, by the way. Um, they don't seem to be budging. You can try and uh, use a strength on them. What, the doors still won't budge? Um, you're no, doing. He it... was talking about the stones on the floor. Talking about oh, the sorry. Yeah, you can roll strength to see if you can do it. Um, as Terry failed with the thing, Cal, when you move in, you kind of push it away with one hand as Terry tries with both hands, and he looked at you dumbstruck. <laughs> and, I'll, uh, I, I'll, I'll rectify that to pissed off. Doors are. What? That's not what. I meant help. There we are, it's open. Oh, mm -hmm. look, look at the. Look at the fancy, oh. fanciness. Oh. In front of you, above the door, by the way, there's a, I gotta say there is a, a small sign written in Infernal, if anybody can read that. Yay! <laughs> the question, for Joyce. <laughs> quite a question before we go on. Um, yes. As I look at it, I try to memorize it. How well would I rem um, remember it? Wisdom check. Wisdom check. Well, <laughs> pretty well. Yes, you remember the two birds with the flowers and how many stones are on each side. And as for, as for the sign, my character can't read it. I can read it. So what does it say? It says the maze of spiders in Infernal. Guys. Sounds like fun. Sounds like the spiders. You know what to do, hug the right wall. I, I, I take my restoration flask and I use it. Yes, you can use it. Yes, uh, I regain three level ones. Right. Oh, guys, there's some barrels up here. So I how did the, the, the healing potions were 1d10 plus what? Plus a karma. Constitution. Yeah, I'm gonna drink my healing potion then. I could heal you, but nah. Um, I inspect the bowels. Seven. Um, perception. On that note, um, Amiria. Yeah. Where's Kelcom? Can I? I went up top. <laughs> Aha. Amiria, um, not just cows. Oh, honey, uh, I've got a little bit of a boo boo. Uh, <laughs> you're having. You know, we don't need to act like this outside <laughs> the bank. What do you mean? Who's acting? Uh, what's your problem? <laughs> One of those months to scratch you back there. Do you think you can take a look? Where? I dread to ask, but where did he scratch you? No. I don't see anything. Yeah. What do you mean you don't see anything? <laughs> There's a cut right across my leg. What's that? Well, okay, yeah. fair enough. Why aren't oh, you yeah. looking down? <laughs> I've made my choice. <laughs> <laughs> You're a happy couple. Okay. Um. Can I uh, medicine on the cut? Uh, yes, you can roll medicine on the cut. Man, all the good rolls come together. Um, you, it's it, it's a not a very deep cut. It's something I can use by you can bandage it. And it's Is there fine. anything that needs treatment? Any poison in there? Or? No, no poison. Sorry. Okay. Um, I think I have bandages. Let me check. Inventory. Bedroll, uh, ration, simple clothes. Oh, actually, I don't have bandages. Does that mean you're going to leave a girl in pain? What are you expecting me to do about it? Kiss it the better, isn't it obvious? I swear I'll come down there. 
Yeah, what he said. I, you know, I, as you uh, inspect the barrels. Yes. <laughs> go back to the. <laughs> <laughs> what I was originally trying to do before yes. I got rudely interrupted. Um, within them, there is nothing but uh, dust. In one barrel, you find a handful of gold, which is about ten pieces. Ah. Do you reach in to take them? Yeah, sure, why not? Alright. Do I get bitten, or do I actually get the gold? How do you get the gold? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Theravon rolled perception. I turn to, um... Amiria, and hand her five gold. To... There you can buy some bandages with this, I don't have any on me. Oh. So I've got to wait until we get out of here. Dervon, you see a small, um, kind of, uh, finger-sized ruby inside that crate. Oh. There sounds magic. From it. No. I take it. Take it. Right. As you grab it, a mechanism activates. The door behind you is sealed shut. Oh. Oh. Great. Great. <laughs> I got through. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Um, Ark, you're, you're, I turn Ark, around Ark, and slam my katana into the back of Kel's head. What did you do? <laughs> oh, there was another way around. What do you mean? I turn around holding up the ruby. Do I regain any connection to my creature? No. Not yet. Okay. Um, I try and open the door. You can it see that it's, um, it was shut from above, from the ceiling. Oh. It fell down. I turn around and I can't see the orc anymore. So, uh... Turn to the wizard. Do you have any way to open this door that you've lowered? I turn around, gently place the ruby back on whatever mechanism. Can uh, uh, can I see the spiders in the webs that are? Nothing happens, the but uh, yes, Deshaun, you can see the spider there, and Art, yep. something jumps you. Oh, fun. Okay. Please I roll a dex save. Well, this isn't going to go very well, is it? Let's be honest. You managed to spring out of the way of the uh, jumping talon spider. Okay. That sounds lovely. It screeches at you. Where, where does it land, just out of curiosity? Right in front of you. Ah, fair enough, didn't see that. Um... I, uh... Can we hear the screech from the other Yes, from the other you can side. hear it, yes. I tried to stamp on it with my good leg. Uh, roll, on, roll, stamp on it with your good leg. Yeah. Let's stand on it, try to squish it. It's big, you can see it. I'll go for it. It's just about the same size as you. <laughs> it's about the same size. <laughs> yeah, it jumped at me. In front of you? Yeah, it ain't a regular spear. It jumped at me. I don't have my weapons out. You can't see this? I'm going to try kick it. Okay. Kick it away, at least. Aim for the head to try to scare it. Roll strength. Um, hearing the screech behind me, I draw my katana and back into this section. I know. Terry, please also roll the dex. I fall over. I, I, I want to just Eldritch Blast at that thing. Uh, yeah, you fall over. Um, <laughs> Deshaun, you kill it. Eldritch Blast. It, like, goes flying against the wall because it got 10 feet behind. <laughs> yeah. And as it flies, the... Uh, uh, Hatrian, you can see a spider flying in front of you, a spider corpse, and it lands in front of you. Yeah. Please roll, uh, do you actually see Art? Uh, Hatrian? Yeah, I do, I do. You do? Yeah. Okay. So. so you're not. Um, Amiria, since you're looking, uh, you see a spider flying in front of you. Of nowhere. Just flying there. And... What? I uh, got a 14 on the decks. Terry, you managed to, uh, 
move away as a spider springs at you. Um, okay, I've already got the katana drawn, so I just smash down at it. Roll it. Uh, rage would have faded at this point, wouldn't it? Yeah, you don't. You don't want the rage yeah. right now. I kill Ooh. it. G good. Because uh, <laughs> where the f sodding hell was that when I needed it? 